Everything starts off with a whole stick of butter melted in the saucepan. Cook it under medium low heat to ensure that every single part of it is melted. As the next thing to do is to let it cool down. If you use it too hot, you're gonna cook the egg yolks. Talking about that, into a hand blender container, I threw in two egg yolks, followed by a teaspoon of white vinegar, the juice of half a lime, and a pinch of salt. Blend everything well until everything is completely mixed. Tilt your blender to the side and start adding the butter little by little. You see, we're creating something that it's called hollandaise sauce, and I hope you can tell it's becoming quite thicker. That is exactly what you're looking for. Keep the blender going and don't stop. Notice that I am only adding the clarified butter. The solids of the butter will stay behind on the pan. That is exactly what you're looking for. Whatever it is that you do, try not to get any of that solids inside. Because once you are done, take a look. That is hollandaise sauce and it will be perfect for eggs benedict. But now we're going to transform this into the greatest sauce for steak. And to do that, it's super easy. Throw in a little bit of freeze-dried shallots, followed by some dried tarragon. Blend everything together a little bit more and by the end, you should have something like this. Now notice that this is extremely thick. Right now, it's exactly the consistency of mayonnaise. To make it thinner and spreadable, you want to add a little bit of water. Do not add too much because if you do so, it's gonna be quite liquidy. That's not what we want. I recommend doing it one tablespoon at a time. This will ensure that you get the exact consistency that you're happy with. Because for me, this is what I was looking for. Take a look. Now that is an incredible sauce to go along with some steaks. Talking about that, these are the ones I chose for today's cook. They are two beautiful Australian Wagyu Marbling Score 7. Not only are they extremely tender, the flavor is also something incredible. So I kept it really simple with a good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Now this is gonna be a great challenge for the Bernays sauce we just made. Because with this steak, there's no need to use the sauce. So if the sauce make the experience of enjoying these steaks better, you know that it will make a cheap steak taste incredible. Talking about that, before trying the steak, we gotta cook it. And for that, I'm gonna be using sous vide. So the only thing I have to do now is to bag it up, vacuum seal it, and get it ready for the water bath. That was good because it allowed me time to go ahead and make some incredible mashed potatoes. And this one is super easy. After boiling the potatoes for 15 minutes, I grabbed my masher and went to town. The more you mash, the less lumps you will have. As it's still hot, throw in some butter, followed by cream cheese, parmesan cheese, and heavy cream. As always, remember exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below for you. The only thing left to do now is to combine all of these ingredients together, taste it for seasoning, and if needed, add a little bit of salt, because your mashed potatoes is almost ready. As I laid it down on my plate, I spread it all over, added a little bit of paprika and melted butter on top, and finish it off with some parsley. Now that is gonna be perfect for those Wagyu steaks. Talking about that, the only thing left to do is to finish them off. For that, I cooked them at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. They will be cooked to perfection. And I can't wait to see if the sauce is gonna make them any better. Australian Wagyu Marbling score seven, everybody. It is not only delicious, but a steak that you will never forget. Talking about that, how is it gonna pair up with that Bernese sauce? Well, we're gonna find out right now because the steaks are ready, we are hungry, and it is time to take it out. Let's do it. One of the most important things you gotta do whenever you're taking the steak out of the sous vide bag is to ensure that you pat it dry. If you don't, then you're not gonna get a nice, wonderful sear because you will start cooking the steak. And the reason you cook it sous vide is for perfection. And sous vide will give you that. Just make sure that you go nice and hot and pat your steak dry. But I know exactly what you're thinking. I know my steaks don't look that good right now, but watch this. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful feast. Are you hungry, Angel? I wasn't hungry before we started, but then you put that on the table, so now I'm hungry. Now, there's no choice, right? You gotta be hungry now. <laughs> so here's the deal, all right? We got a beautiful steak here, obviously some fancy mashed potato and a very fancy sauce. All I wanna know is that if this wonderful steak tastes better with the sauce or without the sauce, because this is a fancy sauce, the number one sauce in the planet, basically, for steaks. 
So we're gonna be the judge of that, yeah? It's a French sauce. Ah. Uh. We're gonna find out right now, yeah? Oui, oui. Try the steak out and let me know how you like it, Angel. Smells amazing. Oh, you went straight forward. You were ready. All right, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yeah. Oh. What happened, Angel? Yeah? Hold on. You have to take a break. That one caught me by surprise. I know how wonderful it is, everybody. I'm gonna curse. Go ahead, you say what you need to. We'll blip it out. This is a <laughs> wagyu, baby! <laughs> this is a crazy, ridiculous, oh. wonderful steak. What do you think, Angel? Oh. Huh? What score is this one? Oh, you want me to do that, huh? Yeah. Mm hmm. What marvelous score? Let's see. There's a little party trick I got. Mm. Seven. Seven. You got it. Now, wagyu marvelous score is seven. That tastes amazing, everybody. Here's the deal with this steak, right? Unlike a Japanese Wagyu A5, this steak right here is something that you can eat the whole thing. I can eat that entire steak. It's when not it as rich, yeah. you know what I mean? This is more doable. More do <laughs> you wanna try mashed potato with the steak? Sure, let's try it, go for it. Oh my God. Guys, is there any better combination than mashed potato and steak? I don't think so. Rice. That's the only rice. Rice might give a runs for its money, but mashed potato and steak is amazing, everybody. All right. Cheers, everybody. Oh. It's just so good. It's like the perfect combination, man, because it's so fatty, the wagyu, you know what I mean? As soon as you take a bite, the juices from the wagyu coat your entire mouth, and at the same time, that mashed potato is there to suck up all those juices, and then you just... Bring it all down, man. It's heaven. I'm telling you right now. And you? Very nice. Very I, nice. I, I like it a lot. Yes, me too. <laughs> okay, excellent. Let's go ahead and try the next one. If this sauce right here is fantastic, it better elevates this steak and not make it worse. You ready? If it makes it worse, we're gonna have a problem. I know. High quality steak you like this. Put it on all of them. I know, right? We're in trouble. <laughs> I guess I had a lot of confidence. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh wow. Oh man, it gives an acidity. For me at least, you get your thoughts together. It gives the acidity of the lemon and the vinegar combined with the wagyu. It's like, wow! Is there egg in here? Yes, there is, a little okay. bit of egg yolk. You can taste it. You're saying in a good way or in a bad way? In a good way, in a good, good way. It's, way? A, it's like the creamy type of egg. Yeah. In, in the back end, I taste it in the back end of the bite. Yeah, I'm, I'm still feeling all oh, that. I like that. That's nice. That is phenomenal. I gotta everybody. try that, like the, the full thing. The, the thing is this, everybody. If you've never tried an Australian Wagyu or any type of Wagyu, you know that there's a lot of fat in there, right? So it's tough to cut out the acidity. I normally recommend either putting egg yolks or mashed potato, anything. Even rice is a good combination. But when you put a little bit of that vinegar together with the sauce, because it's in the sauce, as you know, Angel. Huh? <laughs> when you try everything together, isn't it crazy? I understand why that sauce is so famous, everybody. You're taking it away? <laughs> I'm gonna keep it over here on this side of the table. <laughs> anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, there are several different ways to make this sauce. This one is foolproof, very easy to make, and delicious and I highly recommend. Anyway guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.